Hey guys, welcome back to another Makeup Trends for Less. So in today's episode, we are going to be heading to TJ Maxx. I'm actually right outside the store. I literally feel a little bit better since last week. I've been drinking a lot of like hot tea and I've also been drinking this Starbucks drinks that you guys recommended me, which was the apple cider and caramel. I think one of you guys actually recommended me that drink and I've been literally drinking that drink for the past week and a half and it's so good, you guys have to try. I'm trying to stay away from coffee because I feel coffee makes me a little bit jittery or get me a little bit anxious sometimes i don't know if it's just me but um anyways off topic off topic so we're gonna go to tj maxx we're gonna check out the makeup aisle there by the way a lot of you guys do ask me like sometimes what i have on my face or what i have on my lips i have the infallible pro matte liquid lipstick this one is in the shade nudist now this is one of my favorite lipsticks also from the drugstore i've been loving this and it it looks so good on the lips. Um, it literally, it's not too, too dry. You know how sometimes some of those matte lipsticks can make your lips really, really dry? Well, this one, you guys, it does not do that. And if you guys are interested in it, I will leave the link down below where you can buy it online. But you can literally find it at your drugstore, um, at Walgreens or even at CVS for, I think, about I think $10 is how much it was going for. You can even get it on sale sometimes. So, But before we get started and you guys start watching the video, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you hit the notification bell bell and like this video as well that always lets me know that you guys are enjoying these type of videos and also i will be announcing the giveaway winner for the tj maxx mystery box anyways let's go on and get started We are here at this TJ Maxx, you guys, and I'm literally not kidding. Like, this TJ Maxx is empty. They don't have a lot of things actually stocked up right now, and it's only like 10 a.m., so, hmm. But anyways, I just want to show you what they have here. So they have the Bare Minerals or Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. This is for $10, and it's in the shade Camel. And they also have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush. This one is for $7.99. It's in the shade Brunch. Um, they also have some bare minerals foundation powders and they even have the bare minerals bare skin pure brightening foundation which is nice that they do have this um they also have the cover effects drops and i do see an urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is in the shade i think caffeine um they also have the minerals bare skin um, and some brushes too, like they have the Cab on D brushes here, which you can use to apply your foundation. This is a really nice brush for $8. And then over here, there are some palettes. They have the NYX Professional Makeup Love Contours Old Palette. And this one is actually for uh, $10. I have seen this actually at Kohl's as well. They do have that there too. And then here are a couple palettes from NYX. This is the Evan Pop is a nice shade and also the contour intuitive palette over here which is if i am face sculpting palette this one goes for about nine dollars a lot of couple palettes over there too this one's a smashbox shipping foundation studio fix contour um for 14.99 totally recommend this one over here are some bare minerals gen nude matte liquid lip colors um i also see a mark jacobs undercover eye primer for eight dollars um and over here there are some lancome stuff um oh this is this elizabeth arling dare to bear oh this is an oil also has some lancome lippies color design um and also some elizabeth arden also some of the bite beauty lipsticks too and then back here i do see a vice liquid lipstick in that color back talk which is a really nice color you guys and it's actually for eight dollars um, there's also some by beauties or lip crayons this is for ten dollars here um, and then over here on this section there is a couple more urban decay stuff so they do have the urban decay in the color big bang which has a little bit of shimmer this is a lipstick that has a little bit of shimmer but it's really pretty too can you guys see me i think i feel like i'm out of focus again i don't know i've been trying to like work with this camera but sometimes i feel like i'm out of focus anyways that's a big bang and i think they also have in a different color too so this one is the primer potion again in the color caffeine and also the buxom big and sexy bold gel lipstick in the color big uh coquette which is for six dollars and this other one is in the same shade Ooh, what's this Oh, look, the Borky's 
um, liquid eyeliner. I never heard of this brand, but it's for $7.99. It's in the shade black. Have you guys seen this? Hmm. It's a really cool packaging. I love the packaging. And then also the Buxom Lip Liner and Plump Line. This one is for $2.99, which is a really nice lipstick. I think it's more like a um, pink color, which is nice. So they also have the liquid lipsticks here in Ashton and also in Catnip from Anastasia. There's also um, blushes here for $10.99 in Peachy Love and Cocktail Party. And these are for $10.99. They have a lot of like Anastasia stuff here. Also Sugar Plum, which is a pretty color. And then over here is the Anastasia Contra Kid in Medium. Um, $18.99 for that. And then also the Queen Supreme by MAC and then back here you guys is the Fashion Fanatic by MAC which is a really nice pretty palette I actually have this and I really do like this palette so, and then over here you guys they have the Stila concealers which I totally recommend they're very hydrating underneath the eyes and then they also have this shade from the Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter in the shade Kitten which is really nice I think I'm going to take this one um, they also have it in the shade Admiro. Somebody told me that you actually do not put it on your eyes. It's a highlighter, so it goes for your body only. And um, that's pretty much all I see. I don't see anything else new. Oh my god, you guys. Look, this is so cool. So this is the Lily Lashes Brush on Lash Adhesive. And now this is for $4.99. That's really cool that we found this here. Out of everything that is empty, we found something amazing. Um, and then here... And we're definitely going to take that one. And then over here, there is the Blinking Beauty Luxe Silk Lashes in 3D. It's actually really pretty. I really love these light lashes. These are like very dramatic and it's for $10. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. It's really nice. And then over here, they have the Real Techniques multi tech Collection box. The $54 value and they are selling it for $20. Okay, so we're here in this section um, where there's a lot of like empty boxes, but there's some stuff here too. So I did find these Buxom Plump on the Double Lip Plumping Duos. These are for $6 and originally valued at $20. The lip liner name is called New Ones Hush Hush and then the lipstick is called the New Ones Hot Toddy, which is a lip cream. Um, it's supposed to be plumping, so we have found this. It's actually three of these here okay let's look at the skincare section here let's see down here um they do have a bobby brown protective face lotion this one is with vitamin e and chamomile and it is going for 29.99 they also have the bare minerals corrective um age defense and renew serum this one is for 12.99 this one is the evian or avion Facial spray, hydrates your moisturizers, refreshes, tones, all of that good stuff for $9.99. Now, I haven't seen this before here. This is, I guess, new, but they have a couple of them up there too. You see, there's a couple of them there. Um, have you guys tried that facial spray? Let me know. So, I think that's all I see. I mean, they do have Elizabeth Arden too. Um, but yeah, that's all I see. Nothing else that's new. Hey guys, so I'm here at the fitting room and I'm actually going to try a couple of these um, shirts and sweaters. Um, I have like a couple of them that I want to definitely try and see if they do fit nice. I um, really like this cute top, like just to chill around the house, just as like a casual type of wear. It's only for $10, which is not bad and it has like a little cute design in the front like a little puppy so cute so this is the first sweater that i'm trying on and i honestly really do like the way this sweater fits and it's really nice and snug but also i love that it has like a nice turtleneck um but it's not the ones that kind of pull over it's the ones that kind of like hug your neck really nice and it feels amazing and i love the sleeves you guys it fits me really nice and it's only for 24.99 it's from the brand marled so it's not a bad sweater i think i do i think i am going to take this one you guys know that i'm in love with sweaters you guys dj max has like the best sweaters okay so this uh, next one is a sweater that's very plain and simple it's gray so it's gonna go with every single cloth that you do pick and i like it it's like nice and simple but i don't know what do you guys think this is actually for 24.99 so it's not a bad deal 
um, the material is actually really nice and it hugs me really nice here um, it's kind of a little bit more flowy right here in the midsection which is okay I really like when sweaters are give you enough room here in the belly so if you do eat a lot you know you can hide that big belly but um yeah i do like that and it's from the brand philosophy okay so this last sweater is from the brand also philosophy but you guys this is so pretty i love the color it looks so nice i love the color i don't own a sweater that's like a nice rosy pink or like a blush pink definitely gonna take this one it's really nice all right you guys we're here at this tj maxx this is the one that's located in howell the first thing I do see here is this buxom plump on the double lip plumping duo which we've seen on the other TJ Maxx. This one is in the shade New and Hush Hush which is going for again $6. And then here are the palettes from MAC. Some NYX contours, palettes, oh look you guys the Lily Lashes adhesive um, these are for $4.99 here and there are actually more up here too there's also a whole bunch of them right there too wow there's the elf beautiful bear satin satin lipstick touch of nude for $2.49 and then over here some nyx gotcha cover total concealers um let's see there's also bite beauty there's buxom lipsticks in white russian and those are the only two that i do see but it's literally empty here too oh the go naked by urban decay this is a i believe this is a perfume oil i heard it smells really good okay i do see something really cool here okay this one is the christian breton I don't know what brand this is. I think that's the brand, but you get a mascara and an eyelash builder serum primer. This is for $14.99. Some Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi Finish Eye Palette for $19.99. Okay, this is kind of new. I don't think they've seen this before. Let's see what color this is. Ooh, look at these colors. Of course, I already swatched them broken, but this is for $24.99. Oh my god, it looks so bad. This is a multi-use organizer that you can put actually in your vanity. I think this actually would fit the Alex drawers. This is for $10. Guys, hey guys, so I'm back at home and I honestly do not know why TJ Maxx was so empty this week i went to three different tj maxx and for some reason tj maxx was not lit this week it was literally empty i felt like there were like crickets every single place every single tj maxx that i went to um and i honestly didn't want to feel like i left you guys with nothing to watch so I want to actually show you guys a little bit of a haul or what I actually ended up getting this week at TJ Maxx, what I ended up finding, and maybe do a little bit of an unboxing as well that I recently received from Influencer. Although this TJ Maxx was not lit, um, we did end up finding the Lily Lashes Adhesive Glue, which I've been dying to get my hands on these for the longest i've seen a couple of you guys already find this and i was like when is it going to be my turn so i ended up finding these and i usually use my dual lash glue i think give these a try and see if i do like them and i did get two because i think i am going to be giving this away on a future tj maxx mystery box giveaway so i ended up getting this and this was actually only for five dollars it wasn't really that expensive either and along with the eyelash glue i also ended up getting these blinking beauté luxe silk lashes they remind me of the miami lashes by Lily Lashes. They're so, so pretty, so flared out, very dramatic. I definitely want to try this maybe on a TJ Maxx full face of makeup tutorial. I definitely want to do that because I haven't done that in a long time. The other thing that I did get was the Buxom Plump on the Double Lip Plumping Duo. And this one is for $5.99. And what you get in here is a lip liner and also a mini full-on plumping lip cream. 
um, and it is in the shade Nuance Hot Toddy, which is the lip cream, and then the lip liner is called Nuance Hush Hush. So as you can see, this lip liner is more like a taupey pinkish lip liner it's really pretty and it feels really creamy on the skin i just want to give you guys a close-up so this is what the lip liner looks like you do get a lot of product in this this is going to last you probably like a whole year the other end to this i'm not sure what this is for i think this is maybe to smudge your lipstick or your lip gloss i'm not too sure what the other end is for but it also came with the buxom hot toddy lip cream now this one is also very very pretty but i feel like this is more like a lip gloss but it smells so yummy it smells like cupcakes what i would do is probably wear this on top of a lipstick you could also wear this alone or you can wear it on top of a nudie lipstick which will look so pretty the other um lipstick that i ended up finding was the vice liquid lipstick um this is from urban decay and it is in the color 1993. this one looks like something that you could wear for the fall season for the winter time it's really nice so it's like a brown shade but it's really nice this thing glides on so so nice and creamy and it just feels like literally amazing now it is going to dry matte it's like a really nice brown shade but it's so gorgeous like it's so pretty so last but not least i did end up getting the sweaters that i showed you guys in the video these sweaters are so pretty and i didn't really spend a lot on these sweaters you guys each of them were about like 10 to 25 dollars i didn't spend more than 30 dollars on any of these sweaters so. i do want to show you guys a box that i recently received from influencer which i don't know exactly what it contains but i did read in my email that i think it's supposed to be a foundation um so i want to open it for you guys so we can open it together and see what is in here so it looks like it is from the laura mercier brand and you can see the logo influencer is right there uh and let's see i was like really excited when i did get a box for them because this is like my first box you guys from influencer so i totally was really excited for this it looks like i received two things um one of them is the foundation primer by laura mercier which is 50 mls and let's just open this up first i've actually never really tried a lot of the laura mercier products i only have the laura mercier finishing powder which is my holy grail powder i really love that powder so much um i do love that one and i also love the Too faced born this way powder those are my two favorite powders at the moment and it says that it's lightweight water-based vitamin rich gel that creates a perfect canvas for makeup application you guys know i love to use primer for my face it's something that i always recommend you guys use because we do have a lot of pores and sometimes when you do have a lot of pores it can tend to make your foundation look really bumpy or not uh, flawless think about it this way when you are painting like a wall in your house you definitely want to make sure that you apply a primer first before applying another color because sometimes when you apply a primer it'll just keep the wall very smooth and also if you apply a primer it will make the color a lot more vibrant and it will just make it look more smoother and just a lot better so that's the same thing when it comes to your face and also just to make sure that your foundation stays in place as well because sometimes certain primers will keep your foundation in place probably for a whole day so i'm gonna definitely try this out for you guys but just so you guys know this is the primer and to tell you the truth it does not feel like silicone and then last but not least i did get the flawless lumia ratings perfecting foundation which um and this you guys is in the shade golden or 3w2 i hope this is my shade you guys because you know what it is with me sometimes i get a lot lighter in the winter and in the summer i get so dark so this is the foundation and let's just see if it blends wow i think they did a really really nice job at choosing my shade it literally blended so flawlessly oh my god yeah this is definitely definitely my shade i don't know if it's gonna be 
the same thing with my face but i tend to be very similar with my hand and my face so we'll see we'll see if this foundation is my shade but right away you guys it feels really smooth and it blended so nicely even with me using my hands so really love this and it's supposed to be a luminous finish so it's not supposed to be like a matte finish which is nice because right now it's like the drying season i feel like my face looks so so dry so i'm definitely going to try this because i definitely want something that's more hydrating as well the foundation is a weightless medium to full coverage formula looks and feels like second skin it improves your skin's natural luminosity over time for lasting radiance hydrates visibly smooth and softened skin so i'm gonna try this out in a tutorial very soon so that is everything i got in this box and i did get a little bit of information as well about the foundation it'll be very interesting to see if this will be actually my next favorite foundation because right now at the moment i only have one of my favorites which is the born this way by Too faced and now we're gonna go with the giveaway winner so the giveaway winner for the tj maxx mystery box giveaway is clarissa arroyo i will put your name somewhere here make sure that you contact me as soon as you watch this video and for those of you who have entered thank you so much for entering there are going to be more future giveaways going on i think i am going to do a tj maxx mystery box every month i'm not sure yet i will let you guys know but um thank you so much for watching for all of you guys make sure that you do congratulate her let her know give her some love i'll leave you guys with a thought uh, let me know what is your favorite tj maxx findings for the week and also let me know if you want me to do a full face of makeup using tj maxx or marshall products because i have accumulated so many this past december so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know it wasn't a lot for me to show you guys thank you so much for always being there and for commenting and showing me some love and i'll see you guys on my next video adios besos Mwah.